so welcome back to my channel if you're new and if you're a returning subscriber hey what's up so in today's video will be a basically behind the scenes of a small youtube content creator if you're new my name is ashley and if you're a returning subscriber hey what's up and thank you for supporting me in this video we will be this is like a small youtube channel like what behind the scenes of what i do to try to grow my youtube channel as a small influencer a rising influencer so um as of right now i have to get a few stuff to record two videos that i want to edit because now i'm trying to put myself on a schedule um and then i am going to get a few stuff for that so i'm going to take you behind the scenes of like what i do all my youtube ideas i do write it down i did have a few i'm not going to show you guys because i want you to see like when the videos are posted but i have a lot of ideas like lots of ideas so if you're interested in this type of content don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok i just created a personal tiktok for myself and yeah let's get right into this video okay so the first thing i'm actually gonna do in order to prep for how i want my videos i think of where i want to do my sit down videos and honestly i just think if i want to do a vlog that day or if i have a topic to talk about then i write it down usually ideas come up in my head come up in my head but usually when i think of ideas i write it down and then i'm like i'm gonna record it this day and i write the day that i want to record it i think of the days that i would like to record it and if i could record two videos in one day then i'll do that if you may not know, sometimes I record videos and then I'm like, I don't like the way this look. And I just, I just never post it. But this time I just kind of have to post it. But I'm going to go to um, the flower shop or probably like Whole Foods or something just to get some greenery because I like greenery behind me in my scenes. You know, that's how I like it. I love greens. So I'm going to go to the store and get some leaves and some flowers and stuff just to put it behind um, my my background. For today's video, I'll be recording um, that I will be recording. It will be a beauty favorites video. Possibly that video will be up before I even post this. And then the second video is going to be um, after that. But we're going to show you how my setups is, if I do really need the lights or not. But yeah. But anyway, I'm, we're gonna head to the store right now. Okay, so I'm back from the store and I bought this plant. This plant is gonna be behind me for, this plant is gonna be behind me for my um, sit down video or I'm gonna just use the other plant, but look how big these leaves are. This is crazy, they look so good. So I actually just finished recording my beauty favorites video. I wish I had a second camera. I mean, I did have a second camera. But next time I'm going to record like the behind the scenes of that. But um, I could borrow someone's camera. I'm going to let you know like what the behind the scenes is for what I have to do to set up for recording and having a little greenery in my background. So as of right now. Um, as of right now, this is the greenery that I have right here. I know I bought a plant, but this is something that I had to use in order to figure out what to do in my video. But overall, like I love the way that it looks. I can I I can always sit on my bed and do sit down videos, but for like try on hauls, I'm gonna have to figure out where to do that and stuff like that. But yeah, anyway, I'm about to eat my lunch. I I'm eating a salad. <laughs> if y'all know me, I love me some salads. And I have to wash this semi makeup off my face. What is that? Wash this semi makeup off my face. I'm going to edit this video. I do use Final Cut Pro to edit. I'm actually using a trial before I used to use iMovie um, or Adobe Premiere Pro, which is literally harder than Final Cut Pro. So but adobe is a monthly payment thing so i'm gonna have to figure out how to use that because i'm paying for it um but yeah i really really love final cut pro um it just it's just, i don't know i'm, I'm such a geek <laughs> but anyway i'll see you guys after i'm done eating my lunch or if not i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow um to let you know like my prepping and everything for the next video. I was going to record my second video but 
the sun is going down. If you may not know, it is now six. It's six twenty-seven. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do this earlier than than usual, and I have to go and work out. So I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys. So hey guys, um, it is literally a couple of days later. So I'm gonna set up for another video that I want to record, which I will be posting today because I've been gone from YouTube for a while. It's just a life update with myself. So I let my subscribers know like what's going on with me. By the time you see that video, by the time you see this video, that video will be up already. So as of right now, I'm setting up and yeah, so I'm gonna show you how I set up. So once again, I put these, this plant here and I'm gonna show you the setup as well when I put the camera up. So I'm actually gonna use this camera for behind the scenes. This is a Canon 90D. I won't be having this camera for long. If not, I might buy it off him, but this is what I'm gonna be using behind the scenes. So I'm gonna place this back here because I wanna use my signal lens and this is what is this is what it will look like from behind the scenes so let me get this camera i'm not even looking in the camera but let me get this camera ready because i want to use this lens on this camera i don't have a signal lens for the other camera because it's not mine so i'm going to set this camera up use this for behind the scenes and like show you how everything is working I know that it's my fault, you don't understand I got memories, this is crazy You ain't nothing like the girl I used to know Good with my, good with pop, cool with all my niggas I should try Okay, so now everything is all set up I'm just gonna get ready and then um, start recording my video update about like what's going on with myself. Once I'm done recording, I upload my videos to my MacBook and then I place them in iMovie or Final Cut Pro. I alternate between the two because I don't want to mix up any of my content or I put them in separate folders and name the folder of what it is. It could be a vlog or a day in a life or what I do for a day or what I eat in a day. Like I separate them. Then I upload it to iMovie or Final Cut Pro. So I'm gonna show you guys how I edit and how I find my music. And then I think that's about it and how I edit my music as well. Um, but yeah, let's get right into that. So I'm actually in the process of editing right now. Okay, so what I do, I'm actually editing this video now, but usually before I start editing, I'm like, let me look for music that will best fit me. I like to see what I, I want to feel for the music. I go to SoundCloud and then um, search for lo-fi music, music without lyrics and music with lyrics that are mixed and remixed by other people on SoundCloud. So I'm going to show you how I find that music. So everything is already loaded up here. I found a couple of songs, but we're going to go and look for other songs as well. So I'm going to go, I'm already in SoundCloud. So with SoundCloud, I like to look for lo-fi remix, remixes. I click on remixes and then I figure out like what they have. I go through a list of them. So I'll probably just go and see what this sounds like. So I go and just, I click on one of these and see what it sounds like. I just look through it and I go by the artists as well so if it's so I skim through the music just to see if that's the vibe that I want okay so now if I know I like that song what I would do is 
try to, try to find the share link. So what song is this? Yellow, Odat Bello, whatever this is. So they put it in a playlist. So now I have to find the song separately. So I don't see it here. He has it as playlist. So we're gonna go by the track. It's by J Rob. So I'm gonna go to J dot Rob. Let me see. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little closer. So I'm gonna go to J dot Rob because that's the person that made the song. And I'm just gonna put in Yodak because that's the name of the song. And then I found the song separately right here, this yellow box. I'm gonna click on the share button and copy the share file. Able to find the song um, by the artist. So it's the yellow Yodak Bello. So I copy the share sign and then I go to soundcloudmp3.org. Put the sound here, the copied link there. Click download mp3 and then it's gonna click here where I can download the actual song. So once I download the actual song, it's gonna go to my iMovie. Okay, so now it's in my iMovie, I close it. Usually iMovie opens up because it confirms that the song does work. And then usually with these artists, I like to go to their page if I find one song and see like what else they would have that will interest me for like what I wanna put in my music. So I go here, I listen to a couple of these other songs and then, or I go to um, any other playlist that they might have for themselves that they created from another artist. I go to the playlist and then I look at their reposts as well. I always look at the reposts because the same person that reposts, they make the, they like the same type of music that someone else likes. And then after that, I go back to my home page and it shows of stuff. It says more of what you like. Of course, they gave me like a couple of stuff. So here goes this. It's like a fast beat song. Or we can listen to Amarion. This is, I love this one. I'm thinking I'm gonna download this. Okay, so that song is downloaded, but I know I probably have to edit that song. So what I'm gonna do is download that and then put it in this video. I'm gonna show you how I edit that. Okay, so now I'm going to edit the um, the time lapse portion of the video for behind the scenes. In iMovie, it doesn't really give you that much options of editing when it comes to like music or transitions or anything like that. So I still use Final Cut Pro um, for like my vlogs and stuff. If I wanna add extra stuff like um, little edits, like brunch added right here, if you can see it from here. Um, it's like different effects that I can, I can do more in Final Cut Pro. But for today, I am using iMovie because I wanted to separate everything um, from my Final Cut Pro. And of course, my computer needs more, more space. So when I get to iMovie, I listen to a couple of songs that I've downloaded. I use KRS. I got KRS from Ashley Devana on YouTube. She was helpful with that. I think Kyra uses KRS remixes, but I use directly KRS. And I use um, music from um, Epic Sound. I used to use that, so sounds like this. That's from Epic Sound. This is, this is from Epic Sound as well. And then I got this from SoundCloud. Like I just type in Drake remixes. Okay, so we downloaded the Amarion song. So what I'm gonna do is put that here. And since this is a fast overlay, a time lapse, I'm just gonna put that there. Make this smaller so you're able to see what I'm talking about. Um, I don't think there's anything after that. Let's get rid of this. And then we're gonna put the new Amarion sound. It was called Ice Cold Love. And we're gonna put it here. And I like to make sure that my music is turned down like this so it eases in. So if I don't know if this makes sense, but it comes in like this. But I feel like YouTube is going to pick up Amarion's voice, so I'm gonna pitch it down just a little bit. 
I've been doing pitch downs. Like I remix a lot of scissor songs because YouTube picks up the music and that's annoying. Even though I'm not monetized yet, I don't want to have a copyright strike or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit this. On iMovie to edit to pitch down, you have to go to um, the top part. Okay, so to pitch down your music in iMovie, you have to go to this part up here and then you have to make sure your music link is clicked. So it has to be highlighted in yellow. You have to make sure it's clicked. And then you go to the top and you're gonna see something that says audio effect. And it's gonna pop up something like this. So say if I wanted to... So I'm gonna use that one. Let's see if it sounds like that. I pitched down one time. It's not working. Okay, so that's pitched down once. It should sound like... So that sounded good. So I know that I want that pitch down because they cannot recognize Omarion's voice. We're gonna go and do the same thing for the other part of the video. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas around me. So in my video as well for my transitions, I like to do use um, cross dissolve or cross blur. Um, it's just a little simpler for me. And then um, iMovie, I scale the percentage down to, it says one second of the transition. I like it to be at point five. So it's a little faster when it transitions into the next it clip. And if the song, I like to look at the song to see where it starts. If it's like just nothing there, I delete that and bring this over here. The song just starts right away. That. And then once I'm done, I export it and upload it to YouTube. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful for anyone that was looking for more of, like, you know, a lo-fi or remix music on their video and how to edit as well um i didn't really get into depth of how i put my transitions and everything on the video that's a separate video just showing you a day in the life of how i edit and try to prep my content as a rising influencer but if you like this type of content leave a like on this video it really helps me a lot and also comment and let me know like anything else that you would love to learn because you know i am sort of a computer whiz sort of but anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have any other questions and I'm not able to answer on YouTube. You can hit my Instagram up. I am always on Instagram, but I just don't post as often. And yeah, but thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all. Through drought and famine, natural disasters, my baby.